friends welcome to quick learn tutorial series in this video i will explain you pin diagram of 8284 clock generator so before i discuss the pin diagram of 8284 clock generator here i just give a brief introduction of 8284 clock generator 8284 clock generator is basically an ic developed by intel corporation 8284 generate clock signal for 8086 or 8088 microprocessor and other peripheral devices. 8284 is an important component of 8086 or 8088 microprocessor. Without clock generator, it required many additional circuit to regenerate the clock in 8086 or 8088 base system. Now, 8284 basic function or signals. As I have already told, 8284 clock generator generate clock signal for 8086 or 8088 microprocessor. It generate reset synchronization signal, ready synchronization signal, other peripheral clock signal which are very important or essential signal to microprocessor. Now the features of 8284 clock generator. As I have already told, 8284 clock generator produce clock signal for 8086 or 8088 microprocessor or other peripheral devices alone with the clock signal it generate ready reset signal for 8086 or 8088 processor 8284 clock generator available in 18 pin dip ic dip means dual inline package 8284 clock generator operate in plus 5 volt dc supply it can use either a crystal or a TTL external signal as a frequency source. It is capable of clock synchronization with other 8284 chip. It generates the system reset output. 8284 provides synchronization between local ready and microprocessor ready. So, these are some features of 8284 clock generator. Now, pin description of 8284 clock generator. To understand the pin diagram of 8284 clock generator, first you refer my previous video where I have uh, explained in detail the logic diagram, the working of 8284 clock generator. So if you go and refer my first video, it is very easy to understand the pin diagram of 8284 clock generator. The link of that video I have given in my description box. Now I start the pin description of 8284 clock generator. As I have already told 8284 clock generator generate clock signal, some peripheral clock signal, reset signal, some essential signal for 8086 or 8088 microprocessor or other peripheral devices. So here we see it is a 18 pin IC. At the right hand side of the chip, here we see the pin number 129 and at the left hand side of the chip, here we see the pin number 10 to 18. So first I explain right hand side pin, after that left hand side pin I will explain. First we start from pin number 18 that is VCC. From here we give a plus 5 volt power supply with 10% tolerance to operate the 8284 clock generator. Next is 16 or 17 number pin that is X1 or X2. These two pin are the input pin of 8284. Here we connect a external crystal. This external crystal is act as a frequency source for 8284 clock generator. Next 15 number pin is ready synchronization select pin. It is active low pin because a dash or bar here across the pin. A ready synchronization pin define the synchronization mode of the ready signal. When this pin become low, two stage of ready synchronization are provided. When this pin is high, a single stage of ready synchronization is provided. Next 40 number pin is external frequency input pin. This input pin is used when the 13 number pin that is F oblique C pin is set to be high. This EFI pin is work as a another high frequency source for 8284 clock generator. Next 13 number pin is F oblique C pin that is frequency oblique crystal pin. This pin is used to choose the clocking source of 8284 clock generator. If this pin become high it means logical one a external clock is provided to the EFI input pin from 14th number pin. 
If it become low, it means logical zero. A external crystal oscillator connected to x1, x2 provide the clock for a to a4. Next 12 number pin is oscillator pin. It is a output pin. It means the output generated by a to a4. This oscillator signal is directly given to 8086 or 8088 microprocessor. Next 11 number pin is RES, a bar over the pin. This RES is the input pin, the reset input pin is used to reset the 8 to 8 4 clock generator. Next 10 number pin is reset. It is a output pin that this output is generated by 8 to 8 4. This output is connected to the 8086 reset input pin. Now I discuss left hand side pin, the pin number 19 that is ground. This pin is connected to ground. 8 number pin is clock pin. This is output pin. It means the clock signal generated by 8284 is directly given to the 8086 or 8088 microprocessor clock input pin. This output is work as an input signal of 8086 or 8088 microprocessor or other component in the system. Next 7 number pin is AEN2 and 6 number pin is RDY2. Before I discuss 6 or 7 number pin, I first discuss the 3 or 4th number pin that is RDY1 or AEN1 pin. These two pin are work together to provide the ready signal to microprocessor which will insert a wait state signal to the CPU read write cycle. Next pin is 6 7 number pin. RDY2 or AEN pin, RDY2 stands for the bus ready input and AEN pin is the address enable pin. 6th or 7th number pin function is just same as the function of 3, 4 pin. Now 5th number pin is ready pin, ready is the output pin generated by 8284. This output pin is connected to the 8086 or 8088 ready input. This signal is synchronized with the RDY1 or RDY2 input. Now Second number pin, this is also a output pin that is PCLK, peripheral clock pin. This peripheral clock signal is also generated by 8284. This peripheral clock signal frequency is 1 by 6 of the crystal frequency. So, this peripheral clock signal is given to those peripheral device who required low frequency output. Just like 8254. Next, first number pin is clock synchronization pin. This is the input pin. This pin is used to allow several 8284 chip to be connected together and synchronized. So these are the function of all the pin in 8284 pin diagram.